great things about the Testo 7703 um, are its true multifunctionality. So we have a thumb actuated switch here which moves between current, voltage, capacitance readings, continuity readings, diode functionality testing and ohm readings for resistance, low and high, micro amps for very small readings of current, maybe in transducers, and a power functionality which allows you to take current readings with the amp clamp and voltage readings with the two probes giving you a true power reading. Okay, we have here a um, four-way reversing valve with a solenoid that I would like to test. So we move our switch to the ohms reading and now I'm going to test between the two ends of the coil And we're reading there a value of 1.383 kilo ohms. That's 1,383 ohms. That's telling me that this coil should function. I would like to test this capacitor. This is quite a large capacitor, probably connected to a motor. I'm going to put the meter into the ohms range. And because this also has the capacitance in this range, I need to select ohms using the select button. I'm now going to put the probes on the capacitor. We should see a little dip and then it should go to OL, which it has just done. I will now change to the voltage mode and I'll put it into the DC volts mode by pressing the select button. DC volts. And I will now put my probes onto the capacitor and we can see that it has been charged up with the meter to approximately just below one volt. We can see that voltage dropping down so we can see that the capacitor is holding that voltage. I'm now moved to the capacitance range and this should be automatically selected by the unit. Put my probes onto the capacitor, give it a little while. It's selected microfarads and 60.2 microfarads there. So we've tested the capacitor in all three modes, resistance, voltage and farad mode. Here I have a bridge rectifier. This is four diodes in a resin in an aluminium metal case. I'm going to put the multimeter into the diode test function by pressing the select button. There we are, we're looking at the diode mode now. A diode should show approximately 0.7, maybe down to 0.5 volts drop across it, if in the correct direction. I'm going to put my probe on now. So I see no voltage drop there. That diode is in the other direction, so I will rotate my probes. And here we have the voltage drop showing me that that diode is functioning. I'll now move across to another diode in this bridge rectifier. There we have two diodes in series with a drop of 0.96 volts. Therefore the voltage moves from this terminal to this terminal. So I'm going to go to the power mode now. So move the switch around to the power mode. I will select one of my three phases here, so my amp clamp goes around there. Then using the voltage probes, I will now put the black one onto the neutral bar and move to my first phase and I will now check the power on that phase. I now have my black probe connected to the neutral and my red one connected to phase one. Display a power factor of 0.99 and a wattage of 546.5. Here I'm going to connect my meter up to my 
phone using the Bluetooth connection function. What I do is I hold down the Bluetooth button and then move the machine to one of the functions and then press on my phone to open up the Testo app and then it connects. You can see the Testo 7703 and it's showing a DC current. There's nothing happening here. So I would like to move to the power function and now once that's gone we can then do a trending graph and select different colors with the different functions so I might want to have wattage in the cyan, power factor in maroon and in the orange brown volt amps. So we can now use this meter on our system and we should be able to see all these values appear. Does it have a light so you can see it in the dark? It does indeed. Let me just press that for you there. Oh, I can see it now. Excellent. I'd like to show you some functions of the Testo app. Here we can see the list tab, watts, volt amps, power factor and the variance. I can move across to the trending graph and I'll show you that working in a moment. And then we have the table tab, which we can scroll across showing those values with the date and time stamp. At the bottom we have a button here which we can press to export all of this as it's recorded on your smartphone as a PDF, comma separated variable Excel spreadsheet. You can just send a picture or you can send it to some other software which is external to this. Thank you. So here we have the list of all of those values. We've got a working system and I've connected it to that. Volt amps, so that is with the power factor included. Actual power, so a little bit lower. Variances and the power factor itself. I can move that across to a trending table and that will then show this graph calculating and we then have the actual values that it's recording in this list and we can export those to these different formats as I've said before. Even show this on your full size HD screen. A few extra functions here I'd like to go through. If we move on to this mode here, we have degrees C, degrees F, centigrade and Fahrenheit. We can attach some probes onto here and take temperatures. We also have a fantastic little bar along the bottom here, which if I put it into the resistance mode, we can see the range that we're actually in. I put those two together very quickly. So it drops down to the range here. We're into this up to 600 ohms. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Come to www.businessedgeltd.co.uk and buy your tools on the Tools tab. Thank you. Mm -hmm.